my name is Adrian and I am 9 years old. When I was a little boy, I would spend hours watching Mickey Mouse, Goofy, Donald Duck, Tom and Jerry, you name it. But my favorite type were those with superheroes. One day I dressed as Batman and the next day presented to be Captain America. You can guess how disappointed I was when I learned that they did not exist in the real world and were fictional. Anyway, coping with my disappointment, a few years ago, I realized that no, superheroes do exist. There are men and women that save lives every day and, and sacrifice their health for our well-being. That is when I decided to become a neurosurgeon. I am studying hard and hope to get in a and hope to be able to get in a great med school, but I am also very IT oriented because I strongly believe that it is with technology and all the new tools and applications that it provides that the future of medicine will be shaped and the world shall enter a new a new era of better and equal global medical care. With future technology and by the help of robots, we will not only have better diagnosis and more precise surgical procedures, but will also have a better and more efficient medical care system for everyone around the world. Let us take a look in the future of medicine. Unfortunately, today more than 10% of the world's population lives below the poverty line. With little, with little access to medical care and practically no insurance coverage. That is about 800 million people. The infant and maternal mortality rates are much higher in poor countries than the developed countries. Life expectancy in Asia and Africa is much lower than the United States and Europe. There is a shortage of hospitals in almost all remote villages across the globe because because of cost of building them is high and not economical due to the small patient pool. Additionally, there is an evident shortage of doctors and hospitals in underdeveloped and poor countries. Building fully equipped hospitals and medical fac facilities is definitely expensive and not economical. Doctors but, but technology will change all this in future. It is with technology that we can bridge the divide between the two worlds, the poor and the rich, and make the difference in medical care much less if not equal. Doctors will be able to consult patients and make diagnosis from distance. Surgeons no longer have to be present in the operating rooms and surgical procedures can be performed from thousands of miles away by using robots and high-speed internet. In addition to fully automated laboratories and testing procedures, we will have robots that will help patients in the rehabilitation process and we shall build transportal operating rooms to go from a small village to another. Robots have changed the world of medicine and are, and, and are now regular members of the medical staff. Healthcare robots are generally divided in three categories. One, surgical robots, two, hospital robots, and number three, rehabilitation robots. Today we are all familiar with the Da Vinci surgical systems that, that has performed more than 6 million sur surgeries globally, the Xemex germ robots allowing for fast and, effect and effective disinfection of any space in a hospital or medical facility, the TUG robots able to carry a multitude of tasks in a laboratory or RIBA, the robot for interactive body assistance used for care patients who need assistance. In the very future, a surgeon sitting in New York through satellite systems and real-time internet will be able to use a computer to control the robotic arms for, of a very sophisticated robot 
that is performing a surgery in a transportable operating room in a remote island of the coast of Africa. Crazy, yeah? But it will happen soon. It is important to know that based on the est on best estimates, healthcare robot shipments will increase from 304,000 3,400 units in 2016 to 10,500 in 2021. And the market for, for healthcare robots will increase in revenue from $1.7 billion in 2016 to $2.8 billion in 2021. The future of medicine will be very different from anything that we have seen and are used to it. It is going to be very exciting and I can't wait to become a new age doctor. Thank you.